Hey yo, welcome back to my channel, players. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the front beam completion-ish. I still have to weld another tube up in there to get her nice and supported. And this little walk around is just mocked up right now. I also did the tie rods, as you can see, and I cleaned up and rebuilt that JMR shifter that I have. Also, if you guys want to check out the description, I'm going to try and post the links to everything that I've purchased in this. Also reached out to a few companies, and hopefully I can get a little discount code for your boys. So please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. See you there. Yo, yo, yo. It's a new day. Didn't get as much done in the last, what, two days as I wanted to. Uh, the main thing was I got the shifter all. Gucci Banana Rama. I just got these screws in here temporary because the Zerk fittings are le garbage. I did not end up hitting the 3x3 arm with the wire wheel. Sheesh, that thing's still in the pack. That thing's still in the pack, oh. But what I did do is I packed the bearings. Just kept them in these bags because I really hate grease and getting it everywhere. So those are ready to go. I was thinking about Assembling, uh, I guess you can see the hub, the spindle and everything on. It's just the tolerance on the actual combo snout for the bearings. I think I said that in my last video. It's super tight. It's tight like a toy gun. So, probably do that today. Probably just get a, a nice 2x4, maybe a 4x4, four four, who knows. Whack that thing in one time. Call it a day. And sadly, the old smoke machines leaking urine. So we'll figure that out later. But as far as today, this morning goes, I want to continue on the fabrication on the front end. We'll see. I am going to get all the Oof, take it easy. All the surfaced, the surfaced corrosion, all the old rust, oxide, off that steering shaft. Uh, I was looking at it and it might actually, I might, might be in the realm of not having to cut it and change it, but we'll get there. I got my tie rods coming today. The bungs for them come tomorrow. Gotta go down the steel steel shop and get get the rod I think it's an inch and a quarter I'm be using uh, 0.095 wall man I don't know how I remember that but got these all locked tight locked tighted forget locked tight that stuff's for suckers this stuff right here I don't know if you can see rev lock that's where it's at you can also make this uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's basically just like a, a marker you put on the bolts and you can see if they break free so you don't actually have to go around twerking stuff. So that's pretty cool. I got it a while ago, but I think I think it's a, a great idea. A great idea. So yes, <sighs> you know what? Forget the whole wire. We I'll deal with that later. Let's get back into the fabrication. It's fabrication action. Get this radius bit a little. I think this one. Oi. Oh. Whoa. Ew. You trying to take me out, dog? Take it easy. I'll save you from the scrapyard, homie. Tail, chill. So, you can see that. This side right here is just a tiny bit higher. It needs to be bent a little more. Yeah, you bend a little more, it should raise this side up. I'll have to maybe drop it down about a quarter of an inch or so, which ain't bad. Uh, here, using my angle finder 400, you can see here is zero. I think this is, who knows what side this is. Just trying to keep it. Parallel 6.176. This one should be close ish. Ooh, 
E yeet. Found my head mount. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The old Bender 5000. Ugh. Let's plug her in. Plug it in, plug it in. All right. So, this is the side we need to bend a little more. Which, looking at it, I feel like I'm, I did my math wrong. Yeah, that side's bent way more than that side. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna bend this side. We'll see what happens. Worst case, <laughs> we got some more in stout. So, while I struggle with this, I just wanted to thank you guys. We're up to like, I think I'm at like 91 subscribers now, which is cool. I mean, I've had the channel for like two-ish months. I'm not good with time, so about two-ish. Apparently I'm not good with this either. But a lot more people seem interested than I thought in my little projects, which is real cool. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna hold up, but don't care. Extend her out a little bit. First time go, look at that. Don't get no better. Okay, make sure she straightened the die. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Get her where the tension's out. Let's just start at a hondo. And we'll just move it up a few ticks. All right, compensated for spring back with my uh, fancy mathematician skills. Really, come on, you, you were hand tied a second ago, bud. What are you doing? Oh, here's my, here's my toolbox. Also, I don't know if I went over the actual, when it come, what is that? Come on, gotta break out the hammer. Went over the actual build of this tube bender, but it's real cheap. Real cheap setup, and it gets the job done. Ain't nothing against JD Square or East Fab or whatever. What the hell that name is? Ooh, oh, 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 look at that. I think I'm, I'm one of the best eyeballers in the land, but 800 bucks for everything right there as you see it. So it don't cost a lot to get into this kind of stuff. It just takes uh, time and uh, watching a lot of YouTube videos. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh boy. All right, I got her pretty straightened out. Best she gonna get. So I'm off by a degree and a half on this side on the angle compared to that side. And you really can't notice. And uh, I'll probably forget about it, so it's okay. Just had to cook this out a little better, but look at that. It's one of the old best coping diggity jobs I've ever done did. I don't even think I used a template on that thing. Yeet. So I'm gonna get this all shiny. Get her nice and shiny. And then I'm just gonna tack it in for now. Ah, no. Because every time I tack something in and then I come back to it, look, look, look where I live. You know, it's really dusty out here. So stuff just gets all in there. I forgot to mention, someone commented, I think a while back and said, how am I going to remove the actual shell if I do decide to do so in the future? And I have one tool that is gonna get rid of all of these issues. Here, let me grab that bad boy. Right here. I'm gonna take that. And just cut it. This shell is not, you know, it's not a, a notch back. Notch back. No, that's a different one. It's not an oval window or nothing special. This thing's pretty beat. It's got Bondo in some spots. It's held together though. I do need to make some gussets for these doors. As you can see, it's kind of rotten out on the bottom down there a little bit. Same on the other side. Someone tried welding in something. Didn't really work, but it's okay. 
It's, I don't plan on taking the show off, mainly because I don't want to. It's too much work, and I don't know where I'm gonna get a hoist to do that. I'm already way too much money into this. Kinda, not really. It's still cheaper than a razor. Sorry for the noise, but got this one all welded in. Came out not that bad. It's kinda hard getting to the backside. Okay, just got it done. America. As you can see, my welds are absolutely fabuloso. Look at that penetration. You know, oh my gosh, spicy. The only thing penetrates harder than that is me on a Friday night after two modelos. So, had a start and stop maybe about two, three times. But hey guys, don't be, don't be scared to smoke them fucking things down till they're stingers. Okay, look at that filler rod. Yeah, bad daddy started out about yay big. Yeah, you know, that's how you, get, that's how you get the flavor on the tip of the gloves. It's all about the flavor. So, I'm gonna let my welder cool down, and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm doing with my life. See you there. Yo, 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 what's up, players? It's another day. Same clothes, you know how we do it. Alrighty, so, what I got going on is, Come on, garage. There we go. See, look, it's a nice, pretty day today. It's not, it's not too spicy right now, but I think it's supposed to be like 95 or something like that. It's gonna be fun in here, super sauna. So, as you already know, probably a minute ago, got got that thing in there. She ain't going nowhere. Okay, so there's a good amount of stuff that I totally forgot to film, but I ended up going with this design as you see here from the beam coming up in a V, meeting in that cross member right there. And through my mathematical calculations, this should hold all the stress and support everything and blah, 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 blah. That's how you test your wells right there. So, she's gonna look a lot at it. She's gonna look a little lot at it. Check me out, papi. So, I think it looks uh, quite shabby. I don't know. Someone's going to be like, that's not going to work. So, what also I'm going to do is this little ashtray pocket here. Ashtray coin. Your, your joint holder is quite impeded by... First, the bad boy don't come out, okay? And then when it does... Look at the knobs hitting it. There's some like change or something in there, I don't know. It's been in there since NOM, so. What I plan on doing, obviously not with this piece, is I ditched the whole side angle idea. Forget about it. I'm gonna run a tube straight from here to that bar. Bar, golly, why do I keep saying that? To the inside tube of the roll cage, right through that pocket. I'm just gonna gonna knock that bad boy out hit her with the old the old saws all because it solves everything but the solves the solves all <laughs> yeah not saw okay got my fancy new tripod here I'll just stick the GoPro right in the uh... all right I'm gonna tack it in first get her where she's supposed to be and then then I'll run the full beat around of everything. Okay, so I don't like watching fast forward as much as the next guy, so I thought I'd talk over this one instead of playing some music I stole off the YouTube. So, what I recommend is, if you guys have questions, feel free to comment. I mean, I know there's probably like half the people watching this as when it started, but if you don't want to ask me, there's plenty of Facebook groups out there. My personal favorite is Baja Society, Usually everybody on there is extremely helpful. They send pictures of their builds and what they did and give you all the tips and stuff. Um, mainly because I, you know, I'll say it again, I don't know what I'm doing. But that page has really helped me out. There'll be ones or twos that are like, uh, mine's like this. It's like, motherfucker, I didn't ask that guy. Come on. Yeah, I'm talking to you, buddy. 
But hey, appreciate the help. If you guys are watching, shout out Baja Society. Okay. Once again, something that I keep failing to realize. And it happened. This is like the, the third time it's happened to me. But if you see right here, forgot to let a hole to relieve the pressure. See, so yeah, I was just going around. Daddy was stacking them nice right there, too. And then pop right in my face. Blew a piece of slag back into uh, my torch. And the best part is, pop the breaker. So, that's cool. Make sure you guys drill a hole in your shit if you're welding. Especially if it's uh, all the way still up around. There's actually this tube, because this tube is still open on one end, so is this one. So, I'm just gonna drill a small relief hole somewhere, somewhere in that bad daddy. And when I'm done, I'll probably just tack over it. Shoo! I am sweating. So, Got it all done. Got it all done for Rooney. Can't really see that well, but whatever. She welded. Went all the way around. Finally. It's hard as hell, but it was doable. Quite doable. So now, after much debate of quitting or not, I'm going to assemble it all and get these tie rods figured out. Probably let it cool down. I think this side's pretty cool. I actually forgot, where is it at? That arm in there and I started welding and I was like, hmm, smells like bacon. Oh shit, didn't melt it too bad, but it's still usable, it's all good. All right guys, I'm actually gonna cut the video here because she getting a little lengthy. So this next video I'm gonna upload is gonna be actually completing the tie rods. I built them from scratch. I'll link the parts and everything in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a headache to make and edit. So please come back, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll catch you players later.